those of us who are called to be shepherds in the church take our calling very seriously. We want to take care of the needs of the people who are in our flock. We want to take care of their spiritual needs. We want to make sure that they're being taught accurately from the Bible. We want to take care of their emotional needs. We want to help take care of them to the point that we know that they are walking as strong disciples of Jesus Christ. But you know, sometimes as we pay attention to the needs of others, it's really easy to neglect our own needs. You know, Paul had been uh, getting ready to leave the church at Ephesus. And he left these words of strength, encouragement, and instruction to the Ephesian elders. Some words I think it'd be encouraging for us to pay attention to. In Acts 20, 28, he said, Pay careful attention to yourselves and to all the flock in which the Holy Spirit has made you overseers to care for the church of God, which he obtained with his own blood. Now think about that first phrase. Pay careful attention to yourselves and to all the flock. Not just the flock, but to yourselves also. Sometimes, as we care for other people's needs, we neglect our own. And the truth of the matter is, when we're neglecting our own needs, spiritual, physical, emotional, or whatever those happen to be, we're not as able to care for the flock as well as God would like us to. We think that when we're running around like a chicken with our head cut off, taking care of everybody else's needs and neglecting our own, that somehow that makes us a great minister, a great shepherd, because we're so busy taking care of the flock. But the truth of the matter is, unless we sit back and think about our own needs, not being selfish, but taking care of real needs that we have, then we're not going to have the strength and empowerment that God wants us to have to take care of those he has placed under our care. So take this word of encouragement today. Pay careful attention to yourself as well as to the flock that God has called you to.